Hello everyone, and welcome to the character appraisal of C2 from the anime Code Geass Lelouch of the Rebellion. I shall go through my likes and dislikes about the grass-haired woman and give her a letter grade at the end, with a Google Plus poll being compared to it, and if you haven't already, please subscribe below for more videos. Are you ready C2? Uh-huh. Code Geass is an anime about the war for the liberation of Japan from the colonialistic Britannian Empire. The rebellion is led by the tenacious Lelouch Lamprouge, his quest being revenge on a family filled with rivalries, betrayal and patriarchal entrapment. To help him achieve this, he uses a supernatural power to compel anyone to his will. C2 is the mysterious girl that granted him this power and can virtually be classified as a witch, and is pivotal to the story as she is a woman on a mission, who will enlist all her abilities along with anyone in order to achieve it. I propose a deal. In exchange for this power, you must agree to make my one wish come true. She is a self-titled witch who makes a seemingly light pact with Lelouch, under the condition that he fulfills her one wish in exchange for the powers that she grants him. However, she never actually tells him what his wish is before doing so. But what made you choose him of all people? I just knew that he'd turn out to be a fascinating guy. Okay. This of course leaves you guessing and divided as to whether her motives are good, bad, if they are for her own good, or anybody else's for that matter. In this vein, she knows how to push Lelouch's buttons emotionally, while strangely enough, encouraging him towards the right direction for both their benefit. But I think it's mainly hers. Stop being so suspicious. That's hardly the case. Lelouch, however, is not completely in the dark, as he is able to pull one up on her at times, surprising her, and thereby gaining her respect and a certain amount of loyalty. Also, the sexual tension between them is quite palpable. When it comes to these sorts of things, you're really very thick. She is unapologetically playful with him, and loves showing off their relationship without actually clarifying it to anyone. The amount of times I have thought of writing fanfiction on them. Oh, relax. And I do believe some has already been written. Not that I checked or anything. She doesn't mind being scantily clad in front of Lelouch either, and I feel it is mainly because she feels she can trust him, or at least that he can see through her poker face, so there is no need to fake or hide anything around him. Once again, making a big deal out of nothing. Alright, alright, if you say so, C2. Additionally, what C2 wears is very important to her personality, as it expresses that which she does not show on her face. Her noticeable costume changes are used to give a facade to other characters and are consistent with her history, making pinning her down based on her appearance alone very difficult. Snow is white because it's forgotten what color it's supposed to be. This is especially true with the costume of her entrapment, which could well represent that she simply feels trapped, but at the same time, her freely wearing it could suggest her determination to defy those who would enslave her. It could also show her indifference to the difficult life she has lived in comparison to her aspirations. There is a war all around her, yet she manages to stay out of the way and works from the shadows, but keeping at the forefront of our minds. She seems aloof, but it is clear that she has a checklist she is ticking off. But I won't try to predict her motivations too conclusively, because it is too hard for me to trust her. So stubborn. Why not? Hey, it's not my fault. It's because she never really gets a moment that shows her individuality consistently but it is showcased over short frequent bursts that all culminate into a powerful character. This repetition gives her calculated personality emphasis and clarity, and paradoxically, much more mystery. This keeps us racking our brains and reminds us that it is never the so-called big moments in life that you are always judged upon, but the sum of all the little ones we have throughout our lives. She loves pizza, and it is the only thing she has ever seen eating, and the only thing she reacts to like this. The amount of Pizza Hut product placement she facilitates is shameless, and for all that she eats, she never gains any weight whatsoever, and all she does for exercise is lounge around all day while hugging a plush toy. Ladies, please, don't try this at home. The pizza is a lie. Hey you, huh? boy, where am I supposed to go to eat the biggest pizza in the world? <clears throat> I just said it's a lie, woman. For all the good things that I have said, she is, fundamentally, a damsel in distress and relies on Lelouch like a gold-digging side chick or servant. Of course, she is indifferent to all this and seems to be using him as a means to an end. But her passiveness mixed with her manipulation plays to the stereotype that a woman can only be emancipated by Prince Charming, whichever way you look at it. Just who do you think I am anyway? Don't be that way, C2. Come back! <clears throat> back to business. 
Her predicament is understandable, as she is used to getting disappointed to the extent that she does not actively push anyone towards her wish, which she guards like a precious treasure. Willful woman. Yes, that's right. That's exactly what makes me see too. But I guess she herself has failed to fulfill her own desires, such that at the point she is at in the anime, she really does not want to hold her breath every time it seems success might come. For all the reasons I have given, I will award C2 an A. Sure, she has her shortcomings. <laughs> I think maybe that's not quite correct. But I do feel they meld well with her personality and backstory to an extent that makes her very well thought out. The Google Plus poll is with me on this, as 66% gave her an A, 19% gave her a B, 6% gave her a C, 4% gave her a D, and 6% an E to an F. What would you have awarded her? To vote on future character appraisal polls, go to my Zex Pro polls collection on my Google Plus page. And that is my video on C2. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed my opinions on her. You can watch my other videos and also subscribe to my channel for more character appraisals and top 5 lists. Until next time, I am Zakes and take care.